from the newsroom at news.com.au. Hi, I'm Bronte Coy. And I'm Andrew Bucklow. And this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Wednesday the 13th of July. Well, Australia's highest paid CEOs have been revealed. Topping the list this year was Afterpay's founders and co-CEOs who made $264 million between them last year. In second place was the CEO of CSL. That's the company that made the AstraZeneca vaccine in Australia. He pocketed $58 million bucks last year. Overseas now, the US has upped its game to counter China's rise in the Pacific. They've pledged $887 million in funding for the region over the next 10 years to be spent on economic development and ocean resilience. The US will also open new embassies in Tonga and Kiribati. Still overseas and Sri Lanka's embattled president has fled the country. He boarded a plane with his wife and two bodyguards and arrived in the Maldives where he was taken to an undisclosed location under police escort. The president recently agreed to step down following widespread protests. And back home now, Bunnings is set to raise the price of its sausage sizzle for the first time in 15 years. What? I (laughs) didn't see this being your passion piece, but all right. From July 23 onwards, a snag in bread will set you back, Bucky. Here it is, $3.50 instead of $2.50. That's actually quite a rise, isn't it? Mm. All funds raised from the barbecues go to community groups, not-for-profits and charities. Well, I need a breather now, so we'll be back in a moment while I think about this disgrace. (laughs) Alrighty, to celebrity news now, Britney Spears' ex-husband Jason Alexander has pleaded not guilty to stalking and trespassing. He was charged after he entered Britney's house last month and tried to crash her wedding. He even streamed the whole thing live on social media. You gotta leave. Don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me. Please don't put your hands on me. Hey, where's Britney? Britney! I can trespass, you ain't gotta have a gun. Hey, Britney! Don't... And finally, the ratings for last night's TV show finales have been released. MasterChef was the clear winner with 875,000 people tuning in in the five capital cities to witness Billy McKay be crowned champion. On Channel 7, just 363,000 people watched Reggie Sorensen win the show, just like she did back in 2003. Oh, I love Reggie. Uh, just a reminder that news.com.au is giving you the chance to win a trip to Louisiana to experience where the crawdads sing. To enter, just visit news.com.au forward slash win. That's the latest from the newsroom. We'll be back with another update soon. Your headlines from news.com.au. 